Hello. Happy Thanksgiving. Here is a passage from the Summa Theologia dealing with the issue of gratitude. I think you may find it worth a few minutes of your time. There are six articles in this question, and they are Article 1, whether thankfulness is a special virtue distinct from the other virtues. Thomas answers, yes it is. Article 2, whether the innocent is more bound to be thankful to God than the penitent. And Thomas says, yes in one sense and no in another sense. Article 3, whether a man is bound to give thanks to every benefactor. The answer is yes. Article 4, whether man is bound to repay a favor at once. And the answer is yes in one sense and no in another sense. Article 5, whether in giving thanks we should look to the benefactor's disposition or at the deed itself. And the answer is it depends on what kind of favor is being repaid. And Article 6, whether the repayment of gratitude should surpass the favor received? And the answer is yes. I'd like to focus in in this video on uh, Articles 2 and 6. Question 2, Article 2, deals with the question of whether the innocent should be more grateful to God than the guilty. And Aquinas' answer is both yes and no. And here's his reasoning. Thanksgiving, he says, in the recipient should correspond to the favor given by the giver, so that a greater favor is met with greater thanks. Now, a favor, he observes, is something that's bestowed gratis, that is, complete, completely without any obligation on the part of the giver. And so, from the giver's perspective, a favor can be greater in two different ways. First, it can be greater in quantity. The quantity of the thing given can be greater, and he says, in this sense, it's the innocent man that owes greater thanks to God because he's received a greater gift, more grace. Also, he says he's received a more continuous gift. He's received grace more continuously to preserve him from falling into sin. Secondly, a favor may be said to be greater because it is given more gratuitously. And he says it's in this second sense that the guilty or penitent man is more bound to give thanks to God than the innocent, because he, what he receives from God is more gratuitously given, since whereas he deserved punishment, he has received instead grace. So Aquinas says, although the gift bestowed upon the innocent is considered absolutely greater, the gift bestowed upon the penitent is greater in relation to him. The same way he says that a small gift given to a very poor man is greater to him than is a larger gift given to a rich man. Question six deals with the question of whether one should repay a favor in excess of what has been received. Thomas says, yes, it should be, and his reasoning is as follows. Gratitude regarding the favor received should be according to the intention of the benefactor, who seems to be deserving praise chiefly because he's given this favor gratis to the recipient without any sense of obligation. So the beneficiary stands under a moral obligation to bestow something gratis in return to his benefactor. Now, as long as you pay back an e something equal to what has been received, or less than what has been received, you don't seem to be going above and beyond. You don't seem to be doing anything gratis. So uh, Aquinas says, gratitude always inclines, as far as possible, to pay back something more than what has been received. And speaking for myself, this seems to me to explain why it is that we can never fully repay the debt that we owe to God for creating us and sustaining us in being. We are always existentially in God's debt, and therefore always owe him gratitude. So that's my quick look at some of Thomas's writings about, thanks, about giving thanks and about gratitude and the virtue of gratitude. I'll put a link in the description below to the full article, which is about 4,000 words. Happy Thanksgiving.